Hi guys, so this is my updated kit video um, that some of you have been requesting since my last one, which was quite a long time ago. I've definitely changed my kit since then. Um, so as you can see, I still use the same Zuka bag that I used in my previous video. Um, all I have added is just this bag, which fits on top of my Zuka. And I will unpack some of this stuff and show you guys what's all in my kit. So this bag here I got at just a local um, travel bag shop in, in my local mall. Um, I got it on sale for like 20 bucks, which was a steal because I think it was regular 60 or $70. Um, it's got lots of different little compartments. In this main compartment is where I store most of, most of my stuff. So I've got just a towel. Um, this is where I keep um, cotton pads. I've got my brush belt here that I'll show you. So this is my little brush belt. Um, I have way more brushes than this. This was just for a job where I was just doing one makeover. Well, I pack my brushes according to what I think I'm going to need so that I don't overpack. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, most of my brushes are from Sigma. I think they're great quality for the price. Um, I have a couple MAC brushes, but in my opinion, some of my MAC brushes are holding up just as well as my Sigma. So I would definitely recommend Sigma brushes to anybody. So in this little Make It Forever pouch, I have some beauty blenders. I can't live without my beauty blenders. They're awesome. And then I've just got wipes and some false lashes. In this pouch here, this is where I keep um, my brush cleanser, hand sanitizer, more, this is the Cinema Secrets brush cleanser, my Beauty So Clean, and then just an extra brush cleanser. And then in here, I keep this, this cool mirror that I got um, at a little Asian beauty store for like eight bucks. And then in here I've got um, the Scandinavia setting sprays. So I got the 10 years younger, the no more shine, and then the original makeup finishing spray. Front pocket, this is where I keep, I just keep some plastic bags for garbage. And then in here I've got some blotting uh, blotting papers, some extra mascara wands, and some disposable little powder sponges. And that's it for that bag. So here are my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I use the Z palettes. I really like them. I just recently got them, but I definitely think that they're worth the investment. I like them way better than the, the MAC palettes that I was using before. So this is my neutrals. If I can get it open. This is my neutrals eyeshadow palette and then I've got my brights these ones and I find with any job I can get it done with these colors okay so now on to my Zuka case so you can see in the side here um, I carry this little pouch so this is my removers and different waters so I've got Bioderma, MAC Fix Plus, Make a Forever Mist and Fix I've got a bronzing spray, Clarins makeup remover, La Roche Posay makeup remover. So on the inside, you'll see I've got it's a little bit jumbled up. Um, but I usually keep gum in here, uh, nothing in these pockets really, and then I've got some hair clips here. Okay, so here is a little container that I found at Michael's. So this keeps all of my bases, all of my gel eyeliners, pencil liners, brow pencils. Um, so I've got, you know, soft ochre paint pot, painterly paint pot. I've got these, which are the Chroma Lines by MAC. So I've got a white one and a black one. Then I've got my gel, different gel liners. I've got a black, purple, green, brown. I've got my Anastasia. Um, brow powder, duo, makeup forever, um, aqua brows, and then I've got lots of different um, pencils, eyebrow and eyeliner. So now I have, it's kind of self-explanatory, mascaras and lash glue. 
So this is just a little photo case that I got from a uh, dollar store that I keep these in. So I've got um, lash glue here, both types of duo, um, mascaras, um, clear clear gel for the brows, uh, more mascara, and uh, lash primer. I don't necessarily think you should be spending tons of money on mascara. Um, I can go through one mascara per bridal party, so it's really not worth it to me to to buy, say, like a Lancome mascara, which is going to put me out like 30 bucks. So I find that the drugstore mascaras are awesome nowadays, and they're very waterproof, so that's all I need. So this here is another little container. So this is my tools and disposables. So in here I've got a palette, my little um, spatula, eyelash curler, um, scissors, tweezers, brow shaper. You kind of get the idea of that one. I really like these little containers. They're really handy to keep organized. Okay, so this is my um, concealer little uh, container. So these are different Makeup Forever the full cover concealers. I really like these. They're really heavy duty. Pretty much can cover anything with these suckers, especially with a beauty blender. Um, then I've got the uh, sorry Smashbox high definition concealer, which is nice. It's a little bit of a lighter coverage. Then I've got Bobbi Brown corrector, which I don't use very often. I've got the Makeup Forever um, concealers here too in shade for fair skin and then uh, medium to deep skin. Uh, benefit stuff. And then I've got this, which is a Smashbox Halo highlighting wand. I love this, it's so nice. And that's it for all my little containers and I will show you my uh, Zuka pouches now. So this is my first Zuka pouch. As you can see, it's quite packed full. I don't think I can pack anything more in here. Um, first off is my Z palette for my blushes. So these are all MAC blushes. And if you guys want me to go through all of the blushes, just let me know in the comments below and I can do a video for that too. I've got, so this is a Dome Z palette. So this fits all of the mineralized products. So I've got my mineralized skin finish naturals and then soft and gentle right there. I depotted all of my powders because before this entire thing was filled with powder, uh, powder compacts and it was just a hassle finding every single color this way in these palettes I can mix and match them and it's a lot easier and I can clean them a lot easier too. So these are Studio Care Blend press powders and then I've got some of the contour and highlighting powders as well from MAC. And then in here, so I've got Smashbox um, bronzer, and then a yellow powder, um, Smashbox setting powder, uh, cream blush, I've got a MAC bronzing powder, another highlighter, cover effects setting powder, and then these are the Halo hydrating perfecting powders, which are amazing. I love these. They go for about $72 a, peach, a piece, which is... Uh, pretty expensive but they're definitely worth the money and they photograph beautifully and then I've just got my Makeup Forever cream what is it the flash flash palette which I don't use that often but it's nice to have to mix and create perfect colors for um, lips or you can use them as bases for the eyes you can pretty much use them for anything on to the next one okay so this is my foundations pouch um, so I've got the Makeup Forever HD, which is a great, uh, a great foundation. I don't really have anything negative to say about it. Um, it's never let me down. Um, but yeah, so I've got a bunch of different colors of those. And then I've also got the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. So I only keep these in darker shades. Um, because my Makeup Forever I keep in the lighter shades and I'm okay with that. And then I've got the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, which is great for oily skins. Um, it's quite a full coverage, which is important for, you know, photography. And so those are those ones. 
And then under here, I've got the Smashbox High Definition Foundation, which is nice for somebody with aging skin or um, wants something a little bit more sheer. It's definitely a beautiful foundation. I really like that one. It's actually quite comparable to the Makeup Forever HD, just a little bit lighter coverage. And then I've got the MAC Full Coverage Foundation, which is a cream foundation. Great for um, older skin, dry skin. You can shear it out with a beauty blender and some like Fix Plus or water or whatever. Um, so it's a pretty versatile foundation too. Then I've got these uh, Makeup Atelier um, Ultra Foundation. What it is is it changes the, the color of the foundation. So this one's in uh, zero plus and this one's in zero minus. So one is white and then one is really dark brown. So you can change and customize any uh, foundation that you have that's silicone based. So you can create the perfect shade to match anybody. I haven't had any issues matching any of my clients because of those products. So I definitely recommend them. They are a little bit more expensive, but if you're a professional, you can get a professional discount, which is awesome. Okay, so now on to the lip bag. So here's my lip pouch. So in here, I've got another one of those photo cases. So I just keep some lip. This is a lip balm, another lip balm. I've got my uh, MAC Prep and Prime for lips. And then I've got just a bunch of different lip liners. So I've got MAC, um, I've got Makeup Forever. The Makeup Forever ones are awesome because they're completely waterproof, which is important if you want really long lasting lipstick. Um, so, and then I've got a couple Lancome ones that I don't use uh, that often. And then I've got my lipstick palettes, which some of you guys had questions about in my last videos. Um, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on how I did it. You can just look up on YouTube um, how to melt down lipsticks um, using the the flame and the spoon method. You just have to be careful to not boil the product because you will change the consistency of it. But I haven't had any problems with mine because I didn't boil them. <laughs> so I've got my neutrals here. So as you can see some of them are well loved. Um, some of the most popular ones are um, Cream Cup, Hue, Angel, Politely Pink, those types of colors brides really like. Um, and then I find that the cream in your coffee is really, really popular too. Um, these are all MAC lipsticks. Uh, I can do another video on, on all the colors and everything if you want me to, just leave a comment below. And then I've got my bright lipsticks, which aren't so loved. I mostly do bridal work and some, photogra uh, some photo shoots, but most times people want uh, more neutral lips. So there's all those ones. And then I've just got my lip gloss bag. So this is the same as last time. I don't use lip gloss very often, and when I do, um, you know, most of them kind of look the same on the lip anyway, so I wouldn't spend a fortune getting every single lip gloss because you really don't need them. Um, so I've got Makeup Forever, Juicy Tubes by Lancome, some little mini NARS ones from the holiday collections, Smashbox, and that's about it. Okay, so I'll show you my skincare now. Okay, so here's my skincare bag. So I would say this is the most disorganized bag that I have in my kit just because I can't really find a way to organize it without um, it being hard to access. Um, so this bag has all of my skincare, skin prep kind of things. Um, so I've got different, I really like uh, La Roche-Posay for skincare. It's super gentle and I've never had anybody react to it, which is really important because everybody's so different. You don't know if somebody's going to have a reaction to a certain product that you have. So La Roche-Posay is developed for sensitive skin, so I like that one a lot. So I've got different kinds of moisturizers, you know, for dry skin, oily skin, normal skin, dehydrated skin, everything. Um, I got this, Neostrata. This is amazing for, for men who get really oily or ladies that get really oily in, say, the T-zone. You can apply this after the moisturizer and it really cuts down on the shine. Got some Vichy body lotion. Um, 
more moisturizers. Neostrata moisturizer, this one's nice. Uh, it's a little bit thicker, but um, it's still oily, uh, still oil free, so it's still good on uh, like people with oily skin types. Uh, and then I've got mostly here is just primers. So I love Smashbox primers. I think Smashbox has the best primers available on the market. So I've got quite a few of those. Uh, Smashbox Light, which is good for oily or sensitive skins. This one is color correcting, so great for people with sun damage um, and brightening. This is good for brightening. This one is like an instant pick-me-up, great for bridal. Um, anybody who's feeling kind of, their skin's looking a little bit dull, this is an instant uh, pick-me-up. Then I've got this one. So this is more of a serum, less of a primer. This is a dark spot correcting, so this is great for people with sun damage, acne scarring, etc. And then I've got my hydrating one. So this is good for somebody with very dehydrated skin. I've got this Smashbox Serum, which is an illuminating serum. This is beautiful. Uh, they don't make this anymore, unfortunately, but it is a beautiful product. If you can get your hands on it, I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, I've got the Cover FX Skin Prep. So this is an anti-aging one. Uh, Porefessional. This is great for somebody with serious, serious pore issues. This will mattify the skin as well, which is uh, important for photography. Then I've got my Smashbox Pore and Line Primer, which is amazing if you know how to use it. Definitely uh, takes some practice on how to use it. You really have to work a small amount of it into the skin very well so that it doesn't uh, cake up. Then I've got my MAC Matte uh, Primer Gel. I really like this. This is this is a nice one for men too. Then I've got the uh, what is this? Cover effects. The under it's like an eye primer. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions about anything, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll I'll try to get back to you about those. Um, also, if you want to see the videos on all of my different palettes, let me know. I can do that for you, too. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.